Townsville Grammar held an event today that's become a long-standing sports tradition at the school. The McKimmon Mile commemorates a former student who passed away before completing his education. Alan McKimmon died in 1945. Nine years later, Townsville Grammar created a race in his honour, the annual event developing into a sporting tradition. I think maybe the middle school is probably 200 plus and then the senior school is about another 100, so yeah, 300 kids, 350, which is a pretty good representation. Yeah. Shirley Alcock was the fastest female finisher. I've won it since grade 9, but yeah, it's very special to win it when I'm in year 12, considering that Alan was also 17 when he unfortunately passed away. Declan Marchioni made light work of the mile, the triathlete barely raising a sweat, securing successive wins. Let's give Declan a big round of applause. He's our senior school winner, our daughter, part of our under 16 rugby team. It's great to show, showcase your talent running in front of the whole school. A couple of passionate, passionate runners out here, so yeah, we all like to have a bit of a competition. It's all in good fun though, yeah. Leo Fairley and Madeline Matthews triumphed in middle school boys and girls divisions respectively. Those who hit the course are always well supported by their fellow students on the sidelines. Which is really good because it shows how much of a school community we are and we all like join together. I think the kids just love getting out and, and having a run and, and enjoying the day for, for what it is. It's part of our history and it's a really important part of our history too. The action all over by midday, meaning it was back to class after lunch. Oh, they'd rather have the rest of the day off, I think. Nathan Ferguson, Win News. And that's the night in sport, Lincoln, and best of luck to Antonio Winterstein. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Christina. Up next.